Cheers. Hi, it's your truly Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. Yes, you can do it. We have 182 certified life coaches around the world to prove it. And I'm going to teach you today 10 steps to becoming a full-time life coach. I'm doing this because many of you here in our Facebook group are new. Hey, girl, hey. Say hey when you come in the room. Let's chat live. Get the conversation flowing, you know. So I got my second phone here. Let me go ahead and pull y'all up because I know how Facebook does where when you do join, when you do comment, they don't want to show me. So if you're looking at my hair, it still has conditioner in it. Yes, I let it grow out in the top a little bit, a little bit on the side. You know, she laying. She laying without the gel. She just got the conditioner on the other side. You're welcome for all the little Petey Wee straws we got over here on the side. You got to be from the country to understand that. I don't even understand that. Hey, Natasha, how are you? Say hello when you come in so Facebook can show me your comments as you guys chat with me. So I'm going to be looking at my notes. I'm going to be looking at my baby iPhone here. And I am going to be looking at the comments as you guys talk to me. So I'm going to be looking at my baby iPhone. There we go. It's working. So I can see you guys when you come in. Replay viewers. Hey, y'all. If you're watching on any other platform other than our Facebook group, number one, come over to futureblacklifecoaches.com. Activate your VIP membership in our complimentary Christian coaching community. Again, www.futureblacklifecoaches.com. Secondly, if you're watching our YouTube channel, talk to me in the comments. I'm happy to come back and chat with y'all. <laughs> and if you're listening on the podcast, girl, come on over here to Facebook. Okay. So that's where I am in between. And in the meantime, you also got to be on our face on our Facebook on our email list because I send out treats there as well. So come hang out. Many of you guys that are in our Facebook group, we had at last count over six hundred of you guys. Then I've been doing some purging based on our conversations in the inbox because some of y'all ain't ready. So until you get ready, child, make space for the next coach. Okay. So this is where you come to learn how to become a professionally trained, skilled, black woman, Christian certified life coach. And many of the conversations that have been started in the last 72 hours in the inbox, hello, Dr. Teresa, how are you, have been about whether or not you are, number one, still interested in becoming a coach since you joined this crew, number two, whether or not you got questions about getting started with your black woman Christian life coach certification. And number three, what is your vision for coaching? Even if you're a certified coach already, what is your great dream? I'm combining gold and dream. What is your dream goal for your coaching company? For example, it's Monday morning. You wake up. What time are you getting up, sis? It don't have to be, you know, the same time you get up for your nine to five or your part time or whatever else you do on the side. What you doing when you first wake up? You know, hey, Rodrigo, are you going to the bathroom? Then you come back and get a cup of coffee. Are you going to sit and meditate, pray, journal, read your word? Are you going to go make you some breakfast? Are you going to turn on an inspirational podcast and get your hype, read a book? I'm just going through some things that I do. Are you going to hop on the treadmill? I don't say I do that every day, but still. Um, What are you going to do? You're going to hop in the shower. You're going to a co-work space that day. What is your schedule? Your schedule, if we had to get fancy with it. What you doing, sis? Like, what's the vision? So that'd be my first question to y'all. What is your vision? Even if you're certified. I don't care you already certified. So, you here. You in my group for future black life coaches. Why you ain't living your ideal day yet as a full-time coach? Okay. So a lot of the comeback, clap back. I don't even know if that's the right word. I ain't that cool. I mean, I'm cool, but like, I'm just saying. Anyway, y'all have been telling me in response to that question of your vision that, number one, you really, 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 really want to be a coach. You're very interested for whatever reason you haven't got started. I don't care what your reason is. The point is you have not got started. I don't see your name on my roster of graduated coaches. So again, you have not gotten started as a black woman Christian certified life coach. I don't care you've been certified other places. I don't care what had happened was. I don't care why you are not doing it yet. I do. I do. So I'm in your inbox and you like, well, honestly, you know, I got so much on my schedule. I got this. I got this. The kids got this. Bay got this. Boo got this. Ruru got this. I don't know who. Oh, Ruru is your pet. Ruru got this. Mama them got this. Everybody but you got something going on that requires you, your attention, your time, and your money. So your schedule 
it's booked and busy, or so you telling me. But <clears throat> what I've come to learn by spending time with the Holy Spirit is that there are 10 ways you can become a full-time life coach if this is on your agenda, if you have done like the good book says in Habakkuk 2, 2. If you have really gotten your vision out of your head and onto paper, then you have written the vision, made it plain, so that he who reads it can run with it. Let me break down what this looks like. Number one, I'm actually switching these around a little bit. That's exactly what number one is. I'm so good. I like, you know, predict what I was about to say. Write the vision. <laughs> what does full-time coaching look like for you? Again, it's Monday morning. You wake up. What happens next? All the way. Plot your day. Plan your day. My auntie used to do this um, when she was here on earth with us. She was my biggest fan. She was so proud of the work I'm doing here on earth. And she would plan her day. 901. Blah, blah, blah. And while, you know, it can get a little granular, a little meta, a little detailed, uh, it's worth doing it just to see what you really say you want to be doing. So when you, number one, write the vision, what does that full-time coaching look like? And full-time coaching doesn't necessarily have to be 40 hours per week. Somebody made up 40 hours per week for the job you do in a nine to five. Make up your own full-time coach. And I'm just saying, I told y'all about Coach Andrea Stone, which you guys will meet her Saturday during our class. It is Saturday, July 30th um, at 10 a.m. We're doing How to Become a Professionally Trained, Skilled, Qualified, Black Woman Christian Certified Life Coach. Hopefully you have RSVP'd your spot. It is a complimentary live learning experience with yours truly. We'll be together for about 90 minutes right back here in our Facebook group. So if you're not in our group, you're watching this anywhere else, head over to futureblackletcoaches.com. Come get signed up because you'll see my beautiful brown face. Uh, my coach in her book today said that people love your face. I was like, people do love my face. My beautiful brown face will be back here on Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. till about 11.30. We're going to go through what it takes for you to dive into becoming a coach. But if you fast, if you want to skip ahead, if you're too grown to wait, if you need your answers like right now because your schedule is so booked and right now is the only moment you can consume the content of what it takes to become a full-time life coach, head over to blacklifecoachcertification.com. Again, www.blacklifecoachcertification.com. Okay. Because if you have written the vision, if you have made it plain, then you know what full-time coaching looks like for you. And for Coach Andrea, it was about coming in, having 20 conversations, securing eight coaching clients, and closing her books. She was like, we done until I finish working with these clients. That was full-time for her. That was all she could say. What's your all you could say? What's your goal? For your full-time coaching company. I'm just asking. Number two, have you ever considered? Now, I have done this. And that's where, where these ideas have come from. God is reminding me of, of my journey. I got certified in 2013. I have been in these internet streets since 2008. Real good. But I've been in business since 2005 for myself. And I know what it takes to network, to fit things into your schedule. I ain't got kids. I ain't married. Been uh, married and divorced, happily tell my story and get paid for it. It's a new platform for that. Writing books and everything. Bestseller and everything, sis. So I know what it takes to squeeze it into your schedule, okay? When you really, really want something. So this second tip started before work. So yeah, starting out fresh out of certification or if you've been certified but you haven't been doing anything with your certification, yeah, you're going to put it off. For a little bit. You're going to go serve somebody else's vision for a little bit. You're going to be like me and get mad every time you come home and walk into your office or wherever you keep your stack of papers for your business and get mad when you see dirt, dust, and cobwebs on your paper and have an attitude like, I'm serving everybody else's vision but mine. You know, that's how that goes. But there's a time before you get there to serving in someone else's vision. There's a time where you... You know, you leave from the time you leave your house, maybe even before you officially roll out of the bed, but definitely before you get to your job, whatever you're doing is taking up space from your coaching company being full time for you. There's the drive there. There's the wait in the Starbucks line, McDonald's line, wherever you go for breakfast on the way to work. Don't act like you don't do what I do it when I go to events. But it's time to think. It's time to sit and plan and ponder. It's time to pop in those um, 
AirPods, headphones, Bluetooth, whatever you got on your way into the city, on your way into the job and start doing what you need to do. You can even be sending emails, driving. Y'all know our phones are equipped to do whatever we need them to do. You could be making phone calls. Yeah, most people are not in the office, but that's the beauty of it. A mentor taught me that years ago. She said, I love calling people after hours because I know they ain't going to answer. They're not going to hang me up for the rest of the day. I'm going to get their call plus about 10 more calls before I get to where I'm going. So before work is always a great time to do what you need to do. I remember I used to keep a little box. It was a little index card box. I'm looking around because I got index cards around me, but no index card box like I used to. I used to keep that box full of business cards that I had collected at networking events in my car because I knew I was always going to have to go somewhere. Even if I wasn't driving into work, I was going to be in that car at some point. That meant that instead of cussing somebody out for cutting me off, <laughs> I could have been dialed this number or, say, or told my phone to dial this number as I drive, got my headphones in, and I'm placing this call before I get to my destination. So before work is great because now you got your vision out of your head. You know what full time looks like. And now you're making time in your booked and busy schedule in between the time that you're spending on everybody else's vision. You're getting your calls done, your emails done, done your learning done. You're getting your visioning done. Even if you got to do what I used to do, hop in the car and drive for about an hour around Atlanta, 285. It's a big old circle here. If you live here, you know. If you don't live here, girl, be, be glad you don't know. But it's a whole circle. I don't be lost. I know if I start at one end in one hour, to be exact, I will be on the opposite end of that same starting point. That gave me exactly one hour to tell God everything I wanted for my business, and I would record it on the voice recorder on my phone. So I had an hour to dream to myself. Again, instead of getting mad at who driving too slow, who driving too fast, who driving crazy, what they doing in the car next to you, why he doing this, why she doing that, oh my God, they're driving me crazy. You could be talking to the Lord and yourself on your recording, okay? And as uh, one business colleague said years ago, she said, I love to go back and listen to me, tell me how great I am, <laughs> my vision and what I got going on and coming up, what I've already accomplished. So she used that recorder to tell herself her future self. Uh-huh. About the, her vision. How brilliant. I was like, I love that. So one, get the vision out of your head Two, do it before you get to work or your destination or whatever you got going. Even if you got to wake up a little bit early to do it, leave the house a little bit early to do it. Use your time wisely. As one of my other mentors, Russell Brunson, taught me years ago saying, you know, we always going to be standing in line somewhere. Use that time. Uh, very, very accordingly. Okay. <laughs> According to your vision. Number three, if you're working somewhere else or, you know, you have an agenda for the day, there's always break time. For me in corporate America, there was always lunch time. There was a time where I would watch my coworkers. They would leave the building, go across the street, sit at the park, go in the break room, do what you got to do, you know, or just close your office door. And use lunchtime to build on that vision. Because again, this is all about your vision to becoming a full-time coach. But you got to write the vision. You got to make it plain. Because next steps are going to help you and going to help the people who come to help you fulfill that vision. Is this making sense? You know, did you need to hear this today? I think you did because you're still here. You're still listening. Okay. Number four, after work. Same thing, just like before work. When you go into the parking garage pulling up your baby beamer like me. <laughs> you hopping in. Burp, burp, or if you got to make that noise imaginary in your head or out loud like me. By the time you get in your bins, okay, that drive home, that drive back to your place of solace, of rest, your castle, your humble abode, that's the same amount of time you got to communicate that vision with yourself again. Same thing you did going in, the same thing you do going back. So you got time to talk about it. Voice record, place your calls, listen to learning, talk to Jesus, get the vision out of your head. Most of you do not have the vision out of your head. So when I have sent, 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 yes, because I'm country, these messages to you over the last few days or so, and I say, well, what is your vision for becoming a coach? majority, 90%, more than 90% of you guys do not respond because you don't know. It's not something that you've even considered. 
You just see, you want to be a certified coach. You say you've been coaching and helping people. You just haven't been getting paid for it. And you want to know what's next steps to do it, but you don't know what it'll look like. So how will you know what it looks like when you get there? That's what I learned in my certification training. You say this is what you want. Why do you want it? And how will you know when you get there? That's a very great coaching question to self-coach yourself on. How will I know when I get there? It ain't about walking off your job, putting in a two-week notice. No. When will you know your vision for your full-time coaching practice is being fulfilled? Other than, oh my God, I got a whole day with nothing to do. What's next? No. What did you write down? Number five, a great time to start getting into coaching full-time, regardless of what's on your schedule, booked and busy, uh-huh, is uh, to come on in. I hope y'all can hear me. Yeah, because it said y'all could hear me when I did my second thing. Okay, cool. I just noticed y'all are popping on and off, which is fine. I know you'll come back and watch the replay, right? Okay, cool. Um, y'all usually do that when you can't hear me. And so, let me make sure nobody's commenting. I don't want to miss anybody. I know y'all popping in. I try to say hello as I see you pop in. But you got to talk to me to let me know you're here if you want me to talk to you. Okay? First, show yourself friendly. Okay? Speak when you come in somebody's house. That's what another coach said on her live the other day. I like that. So, the weekends. Great time to practice your full time. Now, keep in mind as a coach, we are international. Okay. Someone asked me today if my, uh, I forgot how she put it, but she was asking if the, the coaching program that I offer my one day black woman, Christian life coach certification, self-study training, if it's accredited. And I explained to her, like I do on the trainings that we got coming up on Saturday, July 30th at 10 AM, that accreditation is for colleges and universities. Um, accreditation does not exist in the coaching community, in the coaching industry, regardless of what you hear. We've been lied to all our lives. Why wouldn't they keep lying to you to take your money, Okay. Accreditation does not exist. Coaching is unregulated at the time of this recording. We have no governing body. Nobody is telling anybody what to do, how to do it, why to do it, when to do it, how, whatever. Um, except for those really good at marketing and y'all falling for it. So nobody's seal is guaranteeing anything. Um, it's so many unwritten, unspoken rules of coaching that people are buying into and it ain't okay. And that's why I'm here though. That's why I'm here. So I share that because, you know, you get to decide what your schedule looks like. You get to decide how big and how global you are. And that's what I was telling this coach that asked about accreditation. I said, our program is internationally recognized. And what that means is we ain't worried about trying to be a college or a university because that's not the space we're operating in. That's not our lane. That's not our call. That's not our anointing. That's not our mandate. Okay. We're not going to sit here and pull the wool over your eyes to act like None of that. I can show you guys what a college accreditation looks like because I had my school send me one. I'm like, okay, $100,000. Let me see what y'all papers looking like. And they did. So I use that to show what a college does versus what coaching does. And no coach training program is under any type of accreditation because, again, accreditation exists in the collegiate community. Okay. We talk about more about that. Um, so make sure you show up on Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. Make sure you have RSVP'd your spot over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. You can even read more about what I'm going to actually tell you on Saturday over at blacklifecoachcertification.com. So I gave y'all a lot to go find out. Before we are back here with the live learning experience next weekend, we actually got seven days. We're on a seven-day countdown. And I share that because with being internationally recognized with your training means you global, child. We have trained and served coaches from the Cayman Islands, from Vietnam. We got coaches... Um, who have bought our products and services all the way in Austria, Australia. I talked to someone earlier this week saying, do you have any coaches in Canada yet? So we are literally trying to hit all four corners of the world like God tell us to do when we go out and share his good news, right? And so what that means is wherever you are, and most of our coaches are here on the East Coast. We have some Cali coaches. We got some Central Standard Time coaches as well, but we are on Eastern Standard Time here. That means that as you reach globally, as your impact grows, you can work with coaching clients in different time zones because you're global. You're not restricted to your state, your region. You're not restricted to your country. 
you can serve in different time zones. So that means that when it's the weekend here, you know, someone may be a few hours ahead of you that you're coaching, a few hours behind you if you're coaching. Several of my coaches are in other countries. So when I did a video interview with one of my coaches a few months back, she was in Scotland. And that meant I had to get up at 6 a.m. to get on camera, okay? Different time zones, but she still coached me. She still got my money. I still joined her program, and I still got what I needed from her coaching, okay? Um, we had a coach recently who graduate, graduated our Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification training who had a client in Africa, and you knew it was legit because the internet kept going in and out. They kept dropping the call. They have to record their calls, and so... When I got the recording, you know, to hear the time zone difference, the accent difference, um, you know, having to speak slow and making sure that questions were understood, like all of that was amazing to see our new coaches get experience of that live in action. I'm looking for my lip gloss because my lips can dry. Um, because that means that we're global, we're international, we're not restricted, we can still serve. And sometimes your coaching clients' time zones will be different than yours. And that's okay because, again, you are a full-time coach. You run a full-time coaching company. It's not restricted to the 24 hours that are on your side of the world. Okay? So that means we're going to step one, create our vision of what working for ourselves full-time as a life coach looks like. Number two, um, before we get to work is a great time to work on our, our vision. During lunch, number three. After work, number four, and on weekends was number five. Number six is, and I've seen this and I love it, vacation time, PTO or paid time off, maternity leave, family leave, or workman's comp. So I have received all of these calls saying, you know, I'm going to take some time off or I'm quarantining for the next couple of weeks or I am on workman's comp or I have a program who is willing to sponsor me to go through your training. Where can I go sign up? By the way, you can literally go sign up for our one day Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study System over at www.blacklifecoachcertification.com right now. Okay. Triple checking about the volume because y'all ain't telling me nothing. So if you got questions, if you've listened up to this point, talk to me in the comments. I am checking Facebook. I'm not sure what's going on. It's all good. As long as it's recording, as long as you can hear me and see me, we're good. Okay. Number seven, six, <laughs> is all about employee benefits. Um, and what that means is some companies have um, tuition reimbursement. They have where they'll pay for your continuing education. I have partnered with companies to do this where they pay for me to go to a training, take notes, learn what I need to learn and bring it back in the form of notes to what I got out of it, what was working, what's not, how we can use this information. They literally gave me the company credit card or swiped it for me or I sent them an invoice and was reimbursed. So there are, and you may have this in your corporate culture, opportunities for you to be reimbursed for your continuing education. That's what our one day Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study System is. It's a continuing education training and you leave with a certificate that shows you did it. You sat through the 24 hours worth of learning because you can do this in 24 hours, and which equals one day. And you can get certified as a coach. We give you our company stamp of approval that's backed by so much stuff like an actual accreditation of my degree as a trainer and the $100,000 uh, education that I have. I personally back you. Have your back to say, yes, she went through the training. She took the assessment. She passed. She has a recording that she knows what she's doing. She has um, affiliated with our coaching community. She's now one of what we call the ladies of legacy, which is someone who is living and leaving a legacy as they build it. Okay. So companies have employee benefits of continuing education. Number seven, which is a duplicate. So we're going to take that off. Still going to be 10 tips, though, because I put a bonus. So that worked out. Because I put after work again for number seven. But y'all don't need to hear that. Y'all get it, right? So let's recap real quick. I'm drinking ginger, pineapple juice, and apple juice. It's one of my favorite drinks from Arden's Garden, and I learned how to make it at home. That works. I can make a picture of it versus a bottle. So here we go. Number one, write the vision. What do you want as a full-time coach? Number two, 
work your vision before work. Number three, work your vision during lunch. Number four, work your vision after work. That was our duplicate. <laughs> Number five, work your vision on the weekends based on the time zones that your coaching clients are going to be in. Number six, work your vision on vacation time, paid time off, family, maternity leave, um, or workman's comp. Number seven, employee benefits in that continuing education program. And number eight, which is another duplicate. How did I manage to do that? I must have been driving and writing. I told y'all I spent my time talking to Jesus. Sometimes I'll be trying to write and take notes. So we got another duplicate. Here we go. Number eight is work longer days. What this looks like, and I remember when I did this in corporate America, Lord have mercy, instead of having eight hour days, I would have, instead of having five eight hour days for a full week of work, Monday through Friday, I would have four 10 hour days. I've heard people do 12 hour days and 16 hour days so that they can have more time off during the week. And so what that means is you work longer days for shorter weeks. So in exchange for working a longer day during the week, you're going to have less time um, throughout the rest of the week. So if you go in earlier, if you stay later, then it balances out. You still get your 40 hours, but you have that shorter week, which gives you more time. So if you do like I did with my last corporate position, you know, I said, here are the days I want to work. And so I knew every day centered around the days that I was off, gave me time to do what I wanted to do, which was work my vision that I seen for myself and that I seen as my coaching company. So Working like Monday through Thursday, nine to six versus nine to five, requesting Fridays off or going in half a day on Friday and having a longer weekend. These are great ways to start factoring in you like sliding on into full time for your coaching because it gives you more time off of your corporate job and more time to work your coaching company. So let me renumber these to make sure I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. And that was tip number eight I just gave you guys. And then number nine is to hire help. And I'm going to break this down into two tips since we're making up for having two duplicates on our list. So number nine is to hire help. So when you get your vision written, when you know what full time looks like for you, it may not be 40 hours. It may just be, you know, that balance in between of being able to work it before work, work it during lunch, work it after work, work it on weekends, work it on vacation time, work it and your continuing education time, which is usually after hours, you know, from your nine to five um, or working longer days for shorter weeks, you have this vision of how you're going to accomplish working full time as a life coach. Now you can take that vision and hire help. So for example, if you need help to say, hey guys, on Saturday, July 30th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be in our Facebook group over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. I'm going to be with you 90 minutes. It's a weekend. I'm off work. I'm going to teach you, fill in the blank. You need someone to design that flyer. You need help posting that on all of your social media channels. You need help creating things like Eventbrite links. You need help with writing the copy to sell that class. You need help with putting your agenda together, putting your PowerPoint together, following up, inviting people, reaching out after the event. You see how you need help, but you don't know what that is unless you have written the vision and made it plain, right? So if you're still listening, I'm glad you're here. If you have heard what you needed to hear, I'm glad you're staying. I am excited to be here with you. Um, and I apologize if I have you know, shook you. <laughs> this isn't what you were expecting. This is real. It's transparent. I had to take the fluff out. I speak my truth in the moment. So I don't apologize for walking in my calling or pushing you into your purpose, as some people call it. But I want to make sure that you're receiving what you need from being here in this community to take your business to the next level. So again, if something that I've said has offended you, I apologize. I say it in love and I'm going to come do it again. So make sure you got your tough skin on when you show up because we're talking about your vision, you know? So if it seems like, you know, I got an attitude or I'm yelling or I'm preachy, it's because I'm speaking to the higher version of you that I know can do these 10 steps. Okay. I know we stopped at nine. I'm about to give you number 10, but I need you to revisit the replay. I need you to hear it again because sometimes you need those little truth bombs those little ouches, those little toe steps to say, you know what? God ain't playing with me. I just finished uh, one of my coach's books, a couple hundred pages, and it's just true, 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 
And when I say I have needed that truth, of course, I'm going to come and share again my truth in that moment with you because I too believe in your vision. So my coach is helping me to help you believe in your vision. That's literally what she teaches. She's like, Dr. AJ Austin, do you believe in your future black life coaches? And it has really made me sit and think, do I? And I know without a shadow of a doubt, I'm 100% certain that I believe in your ability to do what I teach you. Whether you do it or not, it's up to you. It's going to show your belief in you, your belief in your vision. So again, you're welcome here. I welcome your engagement, your dialogue, continuing the conversation. If you don't understand something, feel free to ask questions. I'm happy to elaborate. I'm also happy to point you in the direction where this information is being shared, which is over at blacklifecoachcertification.com. We also have a training coming up next Saturday, July 30th, 2022 at 1030 a.m. If you're watching or listening to this video on any other platform, make sure you join us when you activate your membership. It's a VIP membership in our Christian coaching community that comes complimentary, okay? So I show up, I share with you, this is where the conversation takes place in addition to the 600 plus inbox conversations that I have rolling at the moment. Y'all would think that I'm Amazon chat over here and I love every minute of it. So if I can't write you a book back, if I can't jump on the phone with you, jump on a video chat with you, understand there are 599 plus other conversations that are going on at any given time in my inbox and I'm here for all of it. Okay. So we're here to provide the information that I know you need. If you're really serious about becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified black woman, Christian certified life coach. Okay. It's really eight black woman counts as two. Um, our final tip of 10 for how you can really see yourself walking into the vision God has given you about becoming a full-time life coach is where now you know the vision for hiring help, how to get the word out about what you got going on. But now you're ready to do things like create a course. You're ready to duplicate yourself. You're ready to create what we call passive profits. And you got help marketing your passive profits with the team that you now have the vision for hiring. So if we have started a conversation in the inbox, if you're here at futureblacklifecoaches.com and you got a message from me saying, hey, are you still interested in becoming a black woman Christian life coach? And you're like, oh, I'm already a certified life coach. Our next step together is when I ask you the question, do you have a book? Not a book that you wrote 10 years ago, but a book about what you coach around. So if you tell me you're already certified, what type of coaching do you provide? Like what are the results that you consistently get people every time different people hire you, even if you've worked with like five people, what are the five results? Like it's one common theme in those results of all of those sessions. What's that one common result that you can get people? Do you have a book written around that result? I showed y'all my baby here, the black life coach. This literally how to become a skilled, trained, <laughs> qualified, certified black life coach. There's no confusion what this is about. Okay. Even um, you know, my company and what you get after you read this book, which is how to work with me. And I just lead you to sites like blacklifecoachcertification.com, or I invite you to join our Facebook group over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. Do you have that book that's getting people on your calendar so that when you are ready to shift into coaching full time, even though you're already certified, do you have that book that's filling up your schedule for real, like for real fancy booked and busy, literally booked and busy? Are you selling copies of your book? Next, do you have that coaching course that's already recorded? So while you are driving to your nine to five, um, drumming up more business, you're working it on your lunchtime, on your weekends, um, after work, you are talking to your clients in different time zones. Some calls you have to show up live, but for the most part, your coaching could be passive or residual income in the form of your book and your coaching program. And then my final question to those already certified who are not yet moved into the full-time coaching space is, where can I hear you talk about what you coach around? Those five guaranteed results that you've been getting, those five people that you've coached, that you've written a book around, you have a course around, where are you speaking next? Can you send me a link to your podcast episode? Can you send me a link to your next conference, retreat, workshop, masterclass? Will you be speaking at a private mastermind? Do you have anything coming up or going on that can repeat the process of your coaching style? These tips 
all 10 that magically appeared, even though we had a couple duplicates, are how you walk into coaching full time. Again, I personally believe in your ability to do this when you set your mind to do it. One thing I know for sure, and I learned this from a hairstylist, she was a loctician. And she used to do my ex-husband's hair. So we used to con converse while she was doing his hair. But she said one thing about a black woman is when she makes up her mind about something, whether I'm going to cut all my hair off or I'm going to grow locks or whatever we make up our mind to do, please believe 1000% it shall be done. Because we say so. When we want something, even if it's coming to get certified, regardless of the investment, we make it happen. We find credit cards magically. We find accounts we forgot about. We find gift cards. We find loans. We find equity in our houses. We find um, um, credits. What is it? Credit line extensions. Like y'all get so creative when it comes to getting certified with me. You Money magically appears when you really start to see the vision God has given you come to life. So if you take these 10 st steps, and work them, I believe in your ability to become a professionally trained, skilled, black woman, Christian, certified life coach, okay? I keep forgetting something. It's eight of them, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> so just note these 10 steps are designed to help walk you through what that looks like, especially if you've never sat and and um, thought through your vision. And I know how that is. You know, we block everything out and we go focus on other stuff. But again, the vision never goes away. Even if we're working for someone else, the vision never goes away. Even if we decide, eh, I'm not going to coach right now, I'm going to do this. The vision for coaching never goes away. You're always called. You're always anointed. Your decision to walk in that anointing and that calling because you've been chosen for such a time as this, it's all up to you. I'm just here to confirm the dream, okay? I'm just here to preach you and teach you and sound like I'm yelling at you about your vision and I got an attitude about it because... God already done told you, okay? I'm just here to confirm that thing. I'm an activated prophet. That's why when I show up, it's like, I'm focused. I can see you, even though we ain't looking at each other face to face, okay? So if you have any questions, you can definitely post them in the comments below. I'm happy to come back and chat. You can tag me. Y'all have been so great about watching the replays and putting that you're watching the replay or saying hello, like I'm there with you live still. And I come back and say, hey, girl. <laughs> Many of you are in my inbox. I got like three messages while I was on here. So I'm going to jump off here and respond to those messages because, again, the conversations continue. I am here. I love knowing that I am walking in my anointing and in my calling, which is customer service. Y'all just don't know. It's designed as coaching. Um, but we have a coach here, Coach Brenda, who is in California. She's like, you should do a training for other businesses on how to provide customer service because your customer service skills are immaculate. So everything from checking on you to make sure you are still interested in becoming a black woman Christian certified life coach to after you're certified, like, hey, girl, what you working on? What you doing? What you need? That accountability, that check in process to say, I'm thinking about you and your business and making sure that the dream does not die. All of that is part of my ministry. OK, so I'm working my ministry every day this week. So if I'm in your inbox, you're welcome. Respond. And until we meet again, my friends, remember. Number one, we have a live learning experience back here next Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have to be in our Facebook groups. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss it. If you're in the Facebook group over at futureblacklifecoaches.com, you've activated that VIP membership. You are a part of our complimentary Christian coaching community. You can also click the link to RSVP your spot to show me that you'll be there because I'm giving some guaranteed bonuses when you come to the live learning experience. The replay will not be available. It will be televised and you got to be there live. Okay? So... Don't be in my inbox on my schedule. This my schedule that I showed you how to make time for that schedule, okay? Until we meet again, my friends, remember, there is someone somewhere. They are waiting on you to walk into your destiny so they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine. You give others permission to do the same. And when you impact just one life as a black woman, Christian certified life coach, you are impacting generations. If you're ready, you got two choices. Meet me over at futureblacklifecoaches.com where you're going to RSVP your spot for Saturday, July 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and be live with us in our Facebook group. Or you can go ahead and skip the line, be a little nosy, head over to blacklifecoachcertification.com and join us in our one-day Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study System. Again, it's yours truly, Dr. AJ Austin. I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future Black Life Coaches.